Hey, good afternoon, folks. Evening, whatever. Ah, uh, so giving modern some more shots. Um, got a small adaptation of a list from someone in the Modern Goblins Discord, um, Mr. Smoke. Um, kind of got a a little bit more of like a sea goblins stuff because we got they had the hop the new hobgoblin lord but i wanted to try pashik bonds um the mana base is different than this oh yeah this so i guess it's a, it's a slightly more painful mana base all right this has six fetches and three shocks and this has eight fetches and four shocks. Hey, Krisu, hey, Silas. Silas, Silas. Um, it's a bit more of a painful mana base, worth noting. Um, but it is a better mana base. Um, two Skirks. And then to these guys, this card, this card like reads really bad, but I th think it's okay. Um, it's a two mana two two. You can pay one in a red. Creatures you, or goblins you control get plus one and plus zero plus and gain haste. So it's kind of a haste lord, but you have to activate it. But it does have the upside against other haste lords where it doesn't get like blown out by removal. And then it can make on ones that attack sometimes. Um, two harbingers instead of four. Good to note. Um, no main deck trash master. No fourth ring leader. I s I slipped a bidding into the sideboard after some discussion. I think this fury is going to become a chain whirler. Warm weirding for prowess. Like big stuff, two void mirrors, because I thought, you know, this card looks like one of the better cards against both elementals and rhinos. Um, I'm two to one in the league right now. I beat Just Guy Control and Blue Red, Merktide, Prowess, whatever you want to call it. And I lost miserably to Yogmoth combo because I didn't really <laughs> know what was going on. Definitely should have decided to lay down to the void. Uh, and I didn't and then i got comboed i did not realize the whole undying loop thing uh because game one was just like it's just like yogmoth on like a fucking wall of roots and mana dorks and like a scavenging use it's like uh okay Sand seems good. Interesting. Okay. Um... I might want to play the fetch land next turn, so I'll play the cavern now. All right, <laughs> this many lands is not very good, but ringleader can probably let us lose, uh, let us use all these lands. Opponents in a bit of a bind. They need to kill both the Snoop out of fear of combo and card advantage and the Hierarch. That way you can just cast Ring Leader in the attack for three, which is pretty good. I'm 
not sure what Indatha Triome really says as far as deck choice. So I suppose we'll find out. Sixty cards blasphemy, yeah. Is the chat working? Yeah. How you doing, Jarvis? Chat scrolling, good. Opponent. I feel like this can't be that hard. Right, I am connected to Moto. I love that you can type in your opponent's clock. <clears throat> What a quality program. Oh, man. You just gonna like literally time out? I mean, I'll take the free win, I guess, but it's not really valuable to me. I'm trying to learn this format. But I did hear that on Special Magic, uh, like Q and A thing they had either yesterday or the day before. Sorry, tough decision. Okay. Uh, am I like gonna die somehow? <laughs> uh, they said that there is a legacy BNR coming on Monday. So maybe I'll be back to legacy soon. Yeah, I saw your Ivans, no kidding. Already did that. What? <laughs> what is this? Uh, I heard that so that they said that, Jar. What the fuck? Okay. Okay. Yeah, I mean, maybe I'm, I'm misinformed, but just on time either while. Okay, that's a good ringleader. We'll see if it matters against fucking... How do you get an omniscience into play? Yeah, main deck fury, yeah. Main deck fury is just like super common in this format. Oh, a Domri's call for a what? Uh, uh, 
Uh, I, okay. Why isn't XJ Cloud a mod? I don't know. Jared, do you want to be a mod? The fuck is their hand? Um. All right, let's play Pashalik and then attack and see what happens. Yeah, it's like gotta be lands, right? Okay. I'm waiting to be dead. Second omniscience, that'd be very funny. Okay, you're dead. Oh, oh. <laughs> yeah. What the fuck? Yeah, I guess Leyline fucks him up. Bloodman looks okay. I don't know if I want to sideboard in that much stuff, but Bloodman. It's all planes. Oh, Void Mirror. Yeah, duh. That, that's really good. Are all of our creds good against them? Yeah, I got the one sideboard bidding. Just to keep it reasonable. <laughs> All right, we're, we're sideboarding in a lot. What's up? Okay. Apparently a small child buzzed our door for some reason. Shave two experts. And... How good is Vile here? Yeah, we got Void Mirror. I might just need to trim vials out of Goblin Talk. Cut Mons. I want to cut Mons against a Fury deck. They're playing Grief. I don't know. I, I f Battlecry Goblin. Okay, yeah, that's probably better than cutting vial. Let me just shape one vial. Because this is a lot of non-goblins, right? The six... This does not seem like a Battle Cry Goblin matchup. Sure. Yeah, I don't know. It I heard it read better than it or it plays better than it reads. It doesn't read that good, but I just wanted to do do Jill do Jill do Jill do, 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 do diligence on it. Uh, nah. There we go. I 
I just bottom the... No, I kind of want the extra fetch to go with the Snoop. Bottom War Marshal. Or is it the Sling Gang? It's the Sling Gang. Yeah, AWAC, yeah. I think the... I mean, the appeal to me is that it's a thing that can... I should have played the other fetch, whatever. Um, give you haste to not get like popped pre combat like a war chief or a chieftain can. Play around their blood moons. They played fucking this thing. I'm not going to get blood mooned by this deck. <laughs> fucking bet. <laughs> That's not cool. I guess there's a universe where I could hard cast next turn. That's pretty good, actually. So it sets off my. S oh, oh. I should have tap. I I think I should have tapped Snoop for mana, and then cast Hierarch, and then cast Matron. But this works too. I'm gonna fury the shit out of me though. We'll just end step copy. Fear doesn't stop me. Uh oh yeah, you're right. It doesn't. We just matron harbinger? Yeah, this 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 is just as good without using the matron though. Okay. So just go ley line plus vial. That seems fine. They went main phase fury, then we you copy the snoop, and then when it tries to when it dies to the, the trigger, we copy it again. So no, main phase fury wouldn't actually do it. Yeah, <laughs> XD. <laughs> okay. Yeah, JR, that is, that is actually correct. That's definitely correct. I think I just get another Snoop here and try to kill them. Sag. Uh... Oh, <laughs> oh, that's funny. Rigged. 
<laughs> so lucky. <laughs> Super fucking rigged. So we get back to you. <laughs> yeah. You seem very dead. I guess they could fury like two one one. Probably still be fine. Fatality. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We have eight mana. Uh, let's start here. Oh my god. These hits. And they don't stop coming, and they don't stop coming, and they don't stop coming. Slinking lethal. Four, five, six, seven. Yeah, this is probably where no haste lord. Like battle cry dude would be two, four, six, eight. Yeah, battle cry goblin would probably be lethal. The sling gang is three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We swing for three. It's pretty close to lethal. No, we cut the battle cries. Uh, what if I get Kiki? I just cast Kiki. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What do they do after the omniscience? Is a very reasonable question. They have Emrakul. Yeah, that could make some sense. But yeah, we have no idea what the fuck was going on. All right. Well. All right. Uh. Does that count as an educational experience? Unclear. Yeah, it's peak modern TBH, I agree. Hmm. It's really slow for this format. This is like one of those like definitely a keep in legacy. Keep this hand. All right. If it's like a control deck, we're fucking golden. But... All right. One mana spell is acceptable. Generally very slow. Interesting. What does Foothills no fetching mean? Sacred Foundry. No, Prismatic Ending. Not my file. Why? Mardu Pile. I don't even know like what that would entail. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, that's the thing. It's like all all of my... <laughs> I'm just immediately like, what the fuck is going on? The name lawyers, they did not. I mean, we're going to draw a fuck ton of cards pretty soon. So opponent better start trying to kill me. What? What? 
Hello? Okay. Ooh, that's good, but I don't want to play it yet. Yeah, main deck prismatic ending is uh something. I could just play a ringleader here, but that seems like a spew, so let's just mage in, yeah. I kind of want to get my own expert to some degree because I'm a little worried about them comboing me. Right? You don't have any removal right now. And if they feel compulsed to expert my skirk, then I get to just go like snoot plus expert. Also, maybe I should just supposed to get a second ringleader. But that's like pretty dirtily. And we have a Kiki that's kind of a second ringleader. This is a ringleader of theirs. Okay. Alright. Gross. Peak monitor for Eli? Yeah. Alright. That's that's not fair. Rigged. Uh, I don't actually want to lose my matron, but do they know that? They're not. I don't think they're super inclined to block with their matron because they have slinging in hand. Yeah, yeah, they have prismatic getting their deck and <laughs> yeah. Uh that's how the cookie crumbles. Uh they did block. Okay, that doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me, but okay. Snoop. Oh, that's a problem. Uh, is there a way? So I have five, six, seven. Yeah, I can expert plus Kiki, the expert, yeah. I do get to attack first. Yeah, if I hadn't traded matrons, yeah. I just, I just didn't think they were, they were gonna block with slinging in their hand, right? Doesn't make sense to do that, I think. Yeah, yeah. Uh, don't attack. Why would I not attack? Yeah, if they block with their snoop, but I don't need to kill both snoops. Yeah, but I, I don't need to do that if I, like I just play uh, expert and then ringleader or something. Um, okay. So I do need to do this in a way to leave up black mana.
keep ringleader? Or do I keep Skurik? I think it really matters. And then I'll go to my end step. The expert, my Kiki. File. Ooh, that's a good one. Don't think they're gonna kill my prospector. Until I show them the patch lick. Ch yeah, uh, exclamation point deck list for the current we've got going on right now. File is a little concerning, but we might be able to end the game before that point. Okay. Batch. Um. Yeah, they didn't play Sing Out. I guess they're just holding up Expert. Like we know they have an Expert in hand, so. We have so much mana here. Uh, I kind of want... So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven mana if we want it. We can play Pashalik and activate it. But it's also tempting to just slam Ringleader and potentially draw a card off Snoop, Snoop as well. Oh, I should tap to the hierarch. Yeah. Play hierarch off hierarch, so you go. Yeah, I like that. I mean, I get to attack for four with ringleader as well. I really want them to spend removal on Snoop so I can kill them with Pashalik. Uh, yeah, that's fine. I 
I don't think I play Muns yet. I think they're gonna play, they're gonna play Sling Gang this turn. I'm gonna expert in res in response to the ETB, and then I can play Pashwick with all my mana open, uh, and machine gun them to death. Resto incoming. Oh god. <laughs> Pretty sure they're dead here. All right, we can we can activate the ability, put them down to ten. Make two goblins, and then it's we'll have one mana left over, two mana left over, and then one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Activate it. It's a lot of math. Um, I guess I can attack with ringleader first. Yeah. I think I have lethal, but yeah, I can activate twice. Might lose an expert, yeah. Well, I can actually kill their... I can kill everything in response to an expert, right? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So as long as we can generate uh it might be a tiny bit short. So two mana, sack sack, down to eight, sacrifice. Hierarch, uh, put them down to seven, and then we'll have one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, no, we have it. So we can actually, yeah, we can activate another time. Uh, I know what you're thinking, Jarvis. It, it doesn't like if you have just a if you have a skirk and a patch lake, um. You are only able to sacrifice both of them if it adds up to four mana. 
All right. Uh, Trash Master's good. Fury's good. Yeah. Okay. All right. We're on the same page then. Um. Yeah. 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 Um. B -b 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 How am I liking modern goblin format? It's, it's been alright. <laughs> bidding. <laughs> bidding does not seem like the play. <laughs> Uh, now they're just war and weirding. <laughs> Exceptionally bad in the mirror. Uh, do I want Vandal for their vials and also just like a 1-3 is very annoying on the battlefield? Um, yeah, what do I want to cut? That's a fair question. Yeah, the cards are, I mean, maybe Harbinger, the two, oh man, you're right, the, the, that they didn't shock. Yeah, I want to, I want to leave one battle card goblin. I feel like comboing is not terribly likely to matter, but I'll leave in Kiki's for value. Skurg was really good that game. I think the combo would work. Yeah, they have Expert and Ending, plus however many Starfires they play. It's getting dark in here. Wonder for Fury Cyborg as well, or like... Yeah. Sounds great. Sounds like very sick. I don't know. Like all like in Goblin Mirrors and Legacy, if whoever passes the lackey test, like if both players pass the lackey test, then the games get super grindy. Yeah, this card's been quite good. The Exalted really mattered last game. That pushed a decent bit of damage through. Vile, that's cheating. Mm. Oh, that's here. Oh. <laughs> Please no. Crater man. All right. Uh, I think I just expert that immediately, right? It's like inefficient, but that way, this is like the only point where it's going to be able to, it's not going to trade. Yeah, they had main deck dramatic ending. Yeah. All right. Really want to draw land. Okay. They drew Prospector for turn because they didn't file it in. Land. Uh. They go to five. Oh shit! Did they? I went to six. Let's do this and see what we hit. Value. Hopefully the last two cards cards aren't Snoop plus Harbinger. <laughs> That would be embarrassing. <laughs> How do I keep doing that? I, I'm i just a fucking skilled magis magician. <laughs> I 
Okay, the fact that they're fetching makes me think that they don't have Snoop, because you would violent Snoop first. Okay. Okay. I am fine with this. Pog. Do I like matron expert here? Just expert. Path? <laughs> All right. What if I just play Kiki here? Kiki Go? Yeah, I like Kiki Go. Oh, too late. Oh, do it first? Yeah, sure. Yeah, attacking first, yeah. No matron. This like has to be a ringleader for them to have a chance in this game. Yeah, this is just like infinite value in my hand. Yeah, this 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 is a uh... definitely. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm having a good time with this. Prismatic ending XD. Ooh. That's actually not bad here. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven mana. Matron battle cry, matron battle cry activate. How many years to play goblins? Um, five. Uh, plus War Marshal, that would probably work too. Wait, aren't they just dead to Sling Gang? Copy Sling Gang. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All roads <laughs> led to Rome there. All right, that was a funky 4-1. Uh, let me turn the lights on. I'm actually going to run to the bathroom first, and then I'll turn the lights on and play. Don't go anywhere, folks. I'll be right back.
Alright, I'm back. I I just heard a small child outside just yell. <clears throat> you smell of poo. <laughs> I guess like, there's a lot of kids in this neighborhood, so listening to like the little the little Scottish children yell at each other is absolutely hilarious. It's like actively one of the f better parts of living exactly where we are is that we have live entertainment of <laughs> small children all the time <laughs> goblin behavior yeah all right i'm a filthy chest opener yo that's a sick charlotte's agent i've never seen that before god the text is so tiny though Right. What if I play points? Night Banshee. Frog Avatar. Poggers. All right. Those are cards. The Great Enemy. <laughs> Death Ray Shaman. Oh, Cloud Shredder Silver. That card has killed me more times than I'd like to admit. Without combo decks, what's the worst matchup? In uh, Legacy? Green White Depths. So, like, depends how much you consider that a combo deck. Because I get comboed a lot in that matchup, but most people don't consider it a combo deck. Yeah. Um, Jund? I don't know. Jund got a lot better when Noxus got printed because you can just out out bullshit them. Uh, slivers is really bad. <laughs> slivers is, is actually close to unwinnable. Which is kind of weird, but it, it it just is. Um. All right, so I wanted to try Chain Whirler over Fury. Why not both Fury and Chain? So, like, what from the other Goblins players were saying was that Fury. Hasn't seemed terribly impressive for like solving the deck's problems. It's a lot of X twos. I think the idea with Chain Roller was that actually one of the less um, less narrow ways to improve your uh, Rhinos matchup was to just if you can just get you know a couple couple of those first striking x3s like you get it like my friends playing a couple chain rollers you get a couple of them they're they're much better at killing x2s than x3s right they've got fire ice they've got uh bone crusher giant they do a fury but like it doesn't it doesn't trade at nearly as efficiency but it's just or is a saga and legacy no i don't i think that card's really bad in, like, in goblins i'd be shocked like goblins does not need more mana sinks like at all <laughs> um I wouldn't I don't want to play more colorless lands over any number of ports as well. Um And then the other thing was that Fury like against elementals they can ephemerate to protect stuff, whereas you can't really do that. Like to protect Risen Reef. You can't really do that with Chain Ruler. Yorion Goblins with Urza Saga. I do remember Urza, uh, Yorion Goblins, but uh, that deck died with Astrolabe. Not that it was ever particularly good, but you can't, you just don't want functional mana. I think Sloth, Sloth Mancer.
we're playing modern, you know. No, no, noticeable missing cards, Goblin Lackey. Uh, Red Elemental Blast. This is not, this is, it's also very clearly in the title. Black Red Doomsday Goblins, that's just called, um, that's just called Vintage Goblins. Fair. It's just, it's just uh, a goblin recruiter. Blacky to modern when XD. Enlightened Muppet. That's a great name. That's a great hand. So they're dead on turn three. They're winning Doomsday Pile. You could eat. Yeah. Just. Uh oh. Um. All right, so it's Rhinos. Yeah, Snoop, Courier, Kiki. And Sling Gang underneath that, or Mog Fanatic. Man, the fucking Gemstone Caverns, huh? Do I accept Dono decks? Not really. Um don't think the one this is a one damage kind of game and i'll get my stomping ground here all right i didn't, I didn't do it a third time all right pun up please don't oh, why did i shock there that was I get to see the card before I shop, right? Yeah. I just... Eh. Well. I, I, I actually... I remember... Yeah, yeah. I don't think that's how it's supposed to work. Like, I, I don't think you're supposed to be able to... see the card before you decide. All right, so now we just pass. And as soon as they tap their mana, we kill them. Okay. Turn three on the play, XD. All right, uh, Void Mirror, Chain Whirler. Kinda want bidding as a way to go over the top of a whole bunch of rhinos. Though it is a bit dangerous for a Fury deck. Yeah, Whirler lets you trade up is the idea. Um, what's bad? I just want this deck probably only wants one Battlecry Goblin. Just as that haste thing. It's like, this beats Bone Crusher, this beats Fire Ice, cleans up Brazen Borrowers, and then if you, if you have, like, kind of any other damage, you can beat Rhinos in combat. I don't know, seems, some, seems like something. Um, is this just not a Ringleader matchup? I'm not actually sure. It's not not feeling. I feel like 
there's just no way Battlecry works. Singular Tarfire. Um, this hand seems like a mulligan to me. Oh, it has two Kikis, yeah. Okay, we got the tech, I guess. Um, back to the Swamp. Don't force a Vikrami. Um, that's not a bad draw. Um, I don't want to draw swamps. I don't really want to shuffle yet. It kept a one lander. Excuse me. I guess they have Fury. Yeah. I mean, it's going to play this then. That wasn't Force of Vigor either. Now we get to snoop with a fetch available. Oh, that's tragic. All right. I have to get like Brazen Borrower into Fury. That would suck, but. Yeah. Hopefully it's not Fury plus Cascade. <laughs> that would be so brutal. But if it's just Cascade, you know, we've got a ringleader into Harbinger possibility, or we could draw a Matron and then Matron for Harbinger. Oh wow, they just well, okay, maybe they don't have the land. If they don't have the land, we're fine. Okay. Drawing wing leader. Do I just play the void mirror again? It's pretty bad tempo. I can't just file in the ringleader next turn, but it is potentially worse. Shut them down. Yeah, I guess this also lets me this. All right, nice. Ooh, hello. All right, we'll try that again. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. Four out of eight, yep. Exactly average, <laughs> just distributed very strangely. Perfectly balanced. Now we take file to five. Raisin bar or uh, not gonna go the distance.
That's what I was looking for. All right. All right. So the Void Mirror... I mean, I guess we got there because they whiffed on the land, right? If they, if they were able to go Fury... I mean, I don't know if they had a redundant Cascader, though. We don't, we don't know for sure. But... All in all, the Void Mirror seemed good. I'm just water myself. You ever just forget how to drink? Insert fucking airplane joke here. Plays differently if they didn't any of the red card. I mean, maybe. Because they didn't have the pitch until afterwards? Yeah. Oh, right, yeah, they didn't have a red source. I mean, I guess they probably just kept their hand because, like, okay, this has a Cascader, a Land, and a Fury. And they had a Borrower, too. Sloppy drink. It's just proper goblet etiquette, yeah. Winning die rolls, winning die rolls. Mm. I'm keeping this, but if these mog if these tokens don't matter, then uh sand's pretty bad. <laughs> What is the best Mog War Marshal matchup in modern? Uh oh. I suspect it's not Basic Forest Utopia Sprawl. Okay. That's something. We could ritual out our whole hand. <laughs> oh, burn for sure. Okay, that makes sense. Uh, mm. For monkeys instead of war marshals? I don't know. War marshal provides like this kind of auxiliary effect in goblins that I always really like. I could see cutting to two, though. It isn't. Like, the chumping does matter. And the mana does matter, and the drain from Sling Gang does matter. Yo, come on. <laughs> is every deck a Fury deck? Is that just what modern is? Well, we get to keep one of our dudes. So it's a two and a half for one. Two and a half for two. Two and a half for two. This. Blood Moon? Pillage? Okay. Okay. <sighs> I feel like we're super fucking dead. Bidding will probably be good here if we can get there. Questing beast. Expert one time? A 
expert. All right, well. I don't know. I played it, the match, the one match I played against Control so far felt fine. It was definitely like you had to think and like play around shit, but structurally it still seemed like a very good matchup. Okay, that's very far from the worst it could have been. Let's flip, like, Skirk into Harbinger. That would be sick. Yeah, that's a smart attack. Come on, deck. Probably oh, dead to like a burn spell here, right? I imagine they play those. We saw bull already. Yeah. All right, not getting there. Uh, chain roller against an arbor elf deck seems fine. Do I? I guess fury plus yeah, void mirror seems good. Vandal for the ramp enchantments seems reasonable. Tar fire seems okay. Bidding. Bidding seems a little ambitious against the land destruction deck. They have Bolt's Furies. I feel like I'm not getting a good sense of like Battle Cry Goblin because we're just like <laughs> siding it out in every matchup. Uh, War Marshal was not particularly exciting there. Yeah. All right, sand, quite good. And that fucking term is go f fury, your entire board, leave you a one, one pillage, <laughs> your two lander, extremely grotesque. Can't bolt that bird. Search for Swamp uh, before they Blood Noon me. Sure. Uh, do I play the Snoop here? Be efficient. Use Matron. Like fetch, fetch Swamp. Matron for... Honestly, probably ringleader.
Swamp could definitely bite us in the ass here, actually. I kind of regret that. Yeah, because of that. Fury. No? Okay. Why was I supposed to fetch Swamp again? Blood Moon? I don't think I would care if they spent a turn Blood Mooning me. Like, I have the Dork in play. It would cut off the Expert in my hand if they killed the Dork with it. Yeah, I, I don't think I like fetching for Swamp there, actually. Well, if they kill my board and then I can blow up the Utopia Sprawl, the Vandal, it's not terrible. Taking a lot of damage off my fetches though. Questing Beast, Chandra, Mana, Bone Crusher. Okay. Yeah, I think that was probably a bit better of a play. Maybe killing the Chandra is wrong, actually. Maybe I'm supposed to just save it for the Bone Crusher. Yeah, well, I guess I can just play Ringleader and attack with 3 through it. Yeah, yeah, I know. Blood Crypt Gamers over here. Fuck off. <laughs> yeah, Hardcast Fury would have been a big problem. I mean, I guess they're down to kind of three cards. If we draw, as long as we can de deploy these ringleaders... Probably okay ish. Oh my god. All right, that might work. Maybe it's just not supposed to attack. Maybe that telegraphs the expert too much. Okay. <laughs> oh, or not, yeah. Okay. Land. <sighs> All right. <clears throat> if we draw another land and we can start kicking expert, then then we're cooking. All right. Well, we can't combo anymore. Hmm. Maybe should not have attacked. I 
I think I need to save myself some life. Pulling sliver, thanks for the follow. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I got another one of those. Uh, upkeep. I think I don't want them to get to four mana. Yeah, this value is uh pretty good. All right, <laughs> we have another one. Never see the second Kiki Jiki coming. Yeah, that one doesn't do anything. Uh, is this lethal? Play it, activate it, it's three, four, five, six, seven damage. Eight damage. Let's get Pash I can play, it's better against a Wrath. And I guess I'll I guess I'll play it. I think we got this one. Somehow. <laughs> Fuck through a lot of bullshit this game. <laughs> alright, alright. So if that's what like a winning game looks like. I think Battle Cry is worse than War Marshal, actually. Having blockers and abilities to kill uh, Bone Crusher seems more relevant than this. I want to shave a Harbinger. Fury, Chandra, Bolt, Bone Crusher, and multiples. Feels like comboing is going to be impossible. Like your Snoop just always dies. Yikes. Okay. Pen's also on six. 
Uh, I probably ditch the Vandal here, actually, just because we don't have... We don't have an enabler. A creature's not dying for a little bit. And I want both Matron and Ringleader, and I want all my lands. So I think it has to be the Vandal. Like, unless I draw specifically Skirk. I don't think it's going to help me. Okay. Yeah. How many answers to vile do they have? Reasonable question. No! <laughs> Come back, Vandal. I guess, I mean, it doesn't do anything yet, but... God, use a four mana on turn two? That's gross. Gross! Come on. <laughs> All right, well... God, this thing's online next turn. We're so dead. <laughs> We're so dead. What a fucking draw. I need their hand to be blanks, and then I... Matron for Snoop, and like, bring Leader into Harbinger or something. I just hope that they have actual nothing. This does not look like actual nothing. <laughs> what? <gasps> Please? What? <laughs> All right, well, we're getting... Is this the Nick fit of the format? Like, it's just like a bunch of random bullshit? Yeah, you think? Turn two Blood Braid Elf into Clothis, into turn three Elder Gargaroth. Okay, <laughs> sure. <laughs> I've, I've got nothing. I've got nothing. Oh shit, it's um what's his face? So this is gonna be control. Oh that's an oh Loris, okay. I mean this hand's reasonable. The Kiki's a little awkward, but Goblin. What's this guy's name? Uh, good, 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 good. Thought scour me, huh? I kind of wanted to draw those lands. That's kind of unpleasant. This is mill. I can hope not. Uh, do I want to draw a like Mons? Not really. Hierarch on top? Two Harbingers are going to end up in the graveyard. Yeah, that'd be uncool. Every time I ever played against, what is his name? Oh my god, he's like a big SG guy for a while. Um, he always plays miracles. Sorry, 
key keys in hand, so we draw our... Okay. That's fine. Bati. Okay. I'm actually fine with that. Got a pretty good clock here. Yeah, comboing against the deck that can constantly... Yeah, Mill, Mill does not seem like a good time to try to put a very specific card on top of your deck. Okay, that wasn't that bad. Okay. Um, they're very close to dead. Or are they dead? They might be dead. Go to eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'll hold up expert for crap. Okay. All right. Uh, hey. <laughs> I think we found a good patriarch spinning matchup. <laughs> um. My guy's busting. I cut it because I didn't respect Mill. Never leave home without it. Seems like such a waste of a card, though. Is this deck Blood Minable? We saw Island, Sea Crumb Coast, Watery Grave. I am just going to cut the Harbingers. Straight up, 2-1, with no other text. Yeah, I have mismatched ley lines, I know. In my defense, I lent one out to a friend, and that's why. Shave a ringleader, or shave a, shave a matron to play around Archive Trap? Stupid is that. Trash man for Lord Effect? Yeah, I can buy that. How many removal spells does this deck play, actually? Yeah, Marcel yeah, Marcel does my ley lines. If I need Vandal for anything, I I legitimately don't know what their deck looks like. I'm assuming it's a bunch of crabs. I guess I want Tarfire for crab, huh? It doesn't kill the ruin crab, but it kills the other one. And Blood Moon on the draw is just like not a thing. You play sixty you just side up on cards. Uh, eight removal. Is Chain Roller just a creature that hits them? Is this matchup that bad that you have to do that? All right, we'll submit 62. Just because we'll win with one card in library, it's fine. Ground the lock and ending. Okay. Sand seems fine. I guess Tarfire is also for Loras, right? Uh oh. That one's scary. That's a good draw, though. Support in all your creatures. All right, that was fairly uncool. Blood Moon looking not good.
I mean, it's not free to dilute your deck that much. And oh my god, please do not surgical extraction my goblin matrons. Holy shit, do not do that, please. <laughs> All right. Nice remand, XD. Okay. <laughs> Too bad we don't have haste. <laughs> we would just have infinite mana right here. <laughs> That's kind of a bummer. That's too bad. That is too bad. Hey, Adam Combat, we're doing all right. And against... No, Field of Ruin. No. Oh, that's so mean. It's kind of impossible for that to work. I guess our Kiki didn't get milled. Sling gang. Archive trap. That's kind of fucked up, dude. No, we're bidding. Fuck. I have fetchables, right? Ripped. Ripped. I can get a green source. I mean... If I skirk, if I skirk matron, we can hold up a black. No, no. Yes. Good way to do that. Hold on. So, play Skirk, tap Hierarch, play Hovel. Um, so, I could try to kill him here. Do they play Path? Because I'm either machining for expert or I'm just going for the kill. Didn't take part. Oh, you're right. I did take out Harbingers. All right, cool. <laughs> you're right. Um, Mm, it's not as good as Matron, unfortunately. To kill this crab. Come on, Cassus. Nah. Well. No, I didn't want to sack that. Wait. 
Why did I not get exalted? Hello? Why did I not get an exalted trigger? Am I missing something? Am I, like, this should deal three damage, right? Does Matron for War Marshal next turn kill? Matron for Sling Gang might. Back to Sling Gang tokens, pump everything, swing for two, uh, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, and then drain, yeah. I do have one sling gang left in the deck. What is this by itself? Like just the land? And pump twice. So it'll be four, eight, 11, 12, 13. I don't know why I didn't get a damage there though. That seems effectively wrong. Ugh. 11 cards. We still have a slinking. War Marshal is free. Hold on, should I play around Archive Trap? Is this just lethal? Three. Three, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. I mean, does it matter if I get Archive Trap, though? Uh... I think I just don't use Matron. And then this does more damage. I should have pumped that first. Yeah, yeah, second pump after I get the token. Okay. Okay. That was turn four. Four, eight, three, six, nine, twelve, twenty-one. 
And it could have been 22. All right. That wasn't bad. I mean, that's like as uninteractive of a matchup as it can get. But... <laughs> did its job. That's kind of interesting. It's kind of tough math just to figure out exactly how much damage you have between Prospector, Battlecry stuff, you know? Yeah, yeah, I, I think activating another time would have been more damage still, which is kind of interesting. Ooh. Ooh. I'm keeping. Once on five. I only lost to Darkness. Mulligan we'll to four. What does Mulligan to four mean? And Legacy Mulligan to four means turn one Grizzlebrand. <laughs> or Balustrade Spy. <laughs> Tron? Alright, yeah, it makes sense. Uh oh. Okay, all right, that's not a Tron land. It's a good draw. They should be dead next turn. It's mathematically impossible for them to not have Tron on a Volta 4. Um... Okay, so we have like, we can just go off. Pretty sure. Uh, do they play any interaction? Nope. All right, <laughs> we just turned three to our Tron opponent. That's pretty. That's pretty cool. Um, Blood Moon. Uh, don't need Crater Makers for Carns. Just a little annoying. Uh, and. Some members and got shots. Okay. Presumably, Trash Master good. Okay, so many Discord messages. What up? What's going on? <laughs> All right. To void mirror. What? Uh, why would I play? Oh, uh, they they have all like the the stars and stuff. I I doubt. I doubt this actually works. Um, what am I supposed to cut? Well, first of all, can someone tell me how good the shatters actually are? Cause I don't actually know. Are they playing a bunch of Gar Karn Great Creators? If they're playing Karn Great Creator, then I want to shave on Vials to some extent.
any modern players in chat? <laughs> Feels like not a War Marshal matchup. Leave one. They frequently play Karn. Okay, I'm gonna sh got two vials. What's modern? That's the farm where you get burning and create. <laughs> Shave ringleader. Call it a day. Hmm. <laughs> uh, I feel like we could do better on five. I mean, Mass Vandal's insane against Worm Coil, right? It exiles it. I didn't think about that. That's actually ins like super insane. Two mana, make a 1-3 Exile Worm Coil engine. Yeah, whatever. We'll just simply draw hot. Putting back a land was maybe... Maybe sus. Let's draw Snoop. Okay, that's not bad. Let's get... We'll just get mountain. Not that I my life total matters. I'm just supposed to get all colors. Yeah. Oh, take two John. Okay. Well, let's see what they have with it. Crash man. Okay. You got corn. Okay. We can actually just kill this corn with the exalted ringleader, which is kind of sicko. Blood crypt. Oh, maybe wanted swamp in case I draw moon. All right, that was by far the worst draw in my deck, but okay. That was really bad. <laughs> hmm. All right, let's see if I can get my Exalted trigger. All right, it worked that time. All right, opponent, no more, no more things, please. Snaring Bridge? Don't care about that. Hopefully. Please be Bridge. Spyglass. That's annoying. I want to draw a land like a Kiki copy ringleader. Oh, they hit Snoop? That doesn't seem right. They have a second one? Land? Fuck yeah, baby. Opponent's so greedy. Okay, okay. It's like a sea ready for <laughs> Guess they saw the Kikis. Oh, do they have dismember? 
map. Okay. Oh, we're just fucking ripping hot fire. Kill Karn, punch you for four. Destroy your expedition map. Everything's coming up. Millhouse? <laughs> mm, the third Karn. out of cards though and we just kiki again uh actually matron's better Get Snoop. We have drawn both our Kikis, though. Oh, maybe I'm supposed to get Battle Cry, actually. Yeah, maybe Battle Cry Goblin was the play there. App. Okay, what does this get? Blast zone. Sure. Uh, I should tap cavern last because of what's it's called. Is this just lethal? Copying the Lord or a uh, so attack for f a I should probably hold a goblin in case of a wrath. This is one short. Yeah, that's one short. Okay. Yep, definitely, definitely supposed to hold the skirt prospector. <laughs> Super bad. No Ugin, please. No. Oh, no, 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 no. Swag tusk. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Okay. We beat three Karn Liberateds and a Karn Great Creator on the draw with turn three Natural Tron. That's kind of sick. That's kind of sick. I'm sure plenty of decks can beat turn three Tron. Turn Tron turn three Karn. How many decks get are good against turn three Tron or turn three Karn, turn four Karn, turn five Karn or whatever? Legacy next league? No. I am off of Legacy until they do something about it. I have no patience for that format right now. Absolutely none. 
just makes me angry. Just fucking just makes me mad. I mean, uh, I heard there's a BNR on Monday. Um, for Legacy, I don't remember who the source was. I think it was just like someone. Francisco. Kira. Oh, is that Elementals? Not sure what Sacred Foundry tapped necessarily means with Kahira. It's like my 10th match of this modern format, so... Or 14th math, something like that. Okay. Do I just spew into a fury? I don't know what he's playing. Is this, is, is this just 100% elementals? Kahira, Sacred Foundry... Kind of assume it is. Some metals. All right. Let's play around stuff a little bit. Let's meet your inferring leader. So Francisco is a much, much better modern player than I am, for sure. So I have to get pretty lucky here, and this matchup's pretty bad from everything I've heard. I've not played it yet, so, you know. We will see. Is this like Risen Reef? Yeah. Whenever another elemental look at the top card, if it's a land, put it onto the battlefield. If you don't put it, put it in hand. So you put this onto the battlefield and this into his hand. Okay. Mm, played the wrong man. Mm, that was all, that was another mistake. I should have gotten the black source in case I need to double spell on black. Yeah, I've heard this match is very bad. Oh, he pitched the Flamekin Harbinger. That's right. So it doesn't reveal the other card. Okay. So he's one, just unknowns. Uh oh. Expert. Even another Fury. Gross. Hard crash. Oh, wow. He's sick. All right. Um, I 
I feel very dead. Get to attack for four. Attacking for four, pretty embarrassing to do that. Okay, pick up Mole Drifter, maybe? No, just hard cast Fury. All right. Yeah, this matchup does seem um, impossible. All right, that was a reasonable draw. Oh, they have him right up. That's true. All right, I guess I like have to play the Pashlik Mons then. This goes face. God, we're so dead. We're so dead. Third Fury. All right, we weren't finding the combo anyway. Um... <sighs> Bidding awkwardly really bad against yeah, mental stuff, I guess. Tarfire's decent. What does Tarfire hit? Solitude? I guess Risen Reef. What do you cut here? Is it War Marshals? Is it Ringleaders? Minus four Harbingers. How do we win a fair game though? I mean, I guess these cards are to try to do that. Also, we only have two Harbingers. <laughs> I mean, Void Mirror is essentially a one... It's close to a one-side Sorp Orb. Oh, my Sword Noble. Interesting. Interesting, okay. Mm, that doesn't seem like it. Okay. Keep. Reveal. I mean, he has more than he has multiple green cards in his deck. We like know that for a fact, so that's not really a thing in this matchup, I would think. Oh, the deck has prismatic ending in it. That's not cool. All right, we're super dead, cool.
Land. Okay. It just says island. Like, <laughs> these blood moons look embarrassing. Like, they literally do nothing. They probably hurt him, hurt me more than they hurt him. Natural Kiki is kind of funny. Third prismatic ending. Oh, E on two. And we're drawing this fucking Kiki Jiki. All right, this Blood Moons look rancid. Are we, are we even sure they should be boarded in? They, they look worse than any of these cards by a lot. Ah, <laughs> uh, I mean, sure, I, I guess. I mean, I guess he spent. He can just hard cast a fury next turn. Yeah. I guess I get. Chain Whirler. And I just won't play it until he plays his Fury. That'll stabilize the board. I should have Tar Fire. Should I have just F6'd? That's really bad. <laughs> Not blocking in case of Kiki. Maybe we're just like supposed to play the second Blood Moon. Yeah, I mean, like, if his answer is Force of Vigor, then yeah, but like, if his answer is to Fairy, then the second Blood Moon matters. Yeah. You can probably just ephemerate this. <clears throat> His lightning bolt too? Oh my god, this matchup is so so unbelievably unwinnable. Alright, yeah. There is not a single universe where we can I mean, obviously, I gave him two, so he should have two fewer cards in hand. Um, yeah, Fury, Solitude, Lightning Bolt, Prismatic Ending to Fairy is a lot of things. <laughs> Blood 
Oblivion So or Elvish Piper. All right, um, that matchup seems pretty awful, yeah. But I mean, like, Void Mirror does seem like one of the better ways to attack it. The Blood Moons, I mean, I guess it slowed him down, but... It didn't really, you know. And you win and win, but what does winning look like? You know, like what does winning that matchup actually? What has to ha like that deck? Like that deck is just mono creature hate. It seems like plus draw spells and giant threats. Like, do they just draw, like, I can't even, like, there's no wrong half of their deck to draw. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, I guess, I guess you have to lean on Vile, yeah. Be able to instant speed combo. The Blood Moon plan seems so bad. They have multiple basics, multiple prismatic endings, and, uh, what, Force of Vigor? Maybe? I don't know. Yeah, Bolt. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, our hand was pretty bad, too. So our turn one vial got prismatic endinged. Our skirt got prismatic endinged. And then we did nothing until like turn four or turn five. Um, yeah, I feel, I feel like... Uh, Feel like Void Mirror stopping the pitch nonsense. But then he just like hard casts this stuff like relatively quickly. Thoughtsies? Yeah. Yeah, I could buy Thoughtsies being good. It's like a lot of a lot of two card combo kind of stuff. A lot of A plus B trying to be put together. So Thoughtseize seems relatively good there. I can't say I've wanted Thoughtseize outside of that. So like, what was our other loss? Ponza. Oh yeah, yeah. That seems pretty bad. But we 2 owed everyone else. Battlecry was good against Mill. Which is kind of neat. But you, I cited it out a lot. I think if I'm going to... Play. I think I think you would only ever play one. And I'm also like interested in shaving a war marshal. Does not seem like a three war marshal format. There's so much fury in this format, it's like kind of ridiculous. Is Fury just like that busted in modern? But not in our deck, weirdly enough. Like, maybe we just want the third Harbinger and then main deck Trash Master or Vandal. Open up a sideboard slot for something. Or I could play a Creator Maker. Main deck trash master. Yeah, I've, I've heard decent things about main deck trash master. I feel like what this deck feels like it's lacking is a way to turn the corner very quickly, which is what Battlecry Goblin like theoretically does. But you, you know, that's what, there's like a lot of conditions on that.
It's like the idea of like a war chief or a chieftain somewhere in here is pretty appealing to me. Proof packed XD. Like, is it not the play pattern of... Hey, Jordan, how you doing, man? Like, I would think a play pattern that we would want to be able to do is, like... Turn to Snoop. And then they kill it. Hi uh, I'm a wizard on MTGO, thanks for the follow. Um, a play pattern that we would want would be, like... Our Snoop dies on turn two... And we play a war chief, and if they, they let us on tap with war chief, then we get to go second Snoop Harbinger or Matron for Snoop, cast it, and like have multiple threats in play that they have to kill that turn, basically. But like, why aren't people playing war chief? Yeah, there's a lot of kill spells, but like. I don't know. I'm feeling. I'm feeling the the fact that this this deck feels like it's so sorcery speedy that like, like if your opponent clears your board or like you know manages it on one turn. We, this is modern right now. Read the read the title, Jordan. Come on. <laughs> uh, it's like you can't pivot on them in a single turn. <laughs> While you were erasing the corners of your black border duels, you you erased your mind. <laughs> I don't know. It 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 just feels like the deck is very like play my thing, hope you don't kill it this turn, like And you don't even have the ports and wastelands of legacy to like constrain your opponent's options of like developing plus removing your thing or removing your thing at all. And there's so many prismatic endings in the format that like I found that in for like as much as in legacy Viola has gotten more vulnerable, cards like Warchief have gotten less vulnerable against those same decks because they're relying on sorcery speed stuff so much and it's like you know if they solitude your war chief to stop themselves from getting hit for a bunch that's a win for you right unless it made you like overcommit into a verdict or something like, i think just haste is like a super good keyword I don't know. I realize I'm just like slowly trying to make this more like the legacy deck. Play anger? Oh man. That would be sick. Problem is we don't have a way to get anger into the graveyard. So how how do we get anger into the graveyard, Jordan? Faith is looting is banned. Red Force of Vigor, the uh, Force of Rage. We got O2'd by Francisco on, like, the puzzle on uh, Elementals. It was not close. Not close. Unmarked Grave for Anger. Oh, my God. <laughs> Squee and Survival. If you're talking that, that era of stuff, then uh, feast your eyes, Jordan. Feast your fucking eyeballs on this. Last time I played Vintage, I 5 0 my first try after playing, not playing for like a couple months of, of, of Vintage. And then, then things dropped off. It was like just fucking crushed people the first time. Like, Goblins and Vintage is heavily underrated. Heavily underrated. I know Sandy Dog almost always plays Goblins and Vintage. Like, whenever he's popping in the Vintage prelims, he's always on Goblins. Like, he, he puts up 3-1s and 4-0s, like, reasonably often. Last to check. I mean, that, that was, like, 
probably two months ago that I last like looked at that world, but yeah, this deck is kind of sicko. I almost wonder if the modern deck should play Torch Courier. Because that would sort of solve the problem that I'm talking about. But the problem is you can't, like, Harbinger for Courier plus Kiki, which is so much worse. Like, even if we had Goblin Recruiter for two cards, it would be, like... So, like, cataclysmically better than Bogger Harbinger. It's, like, kind of insane how big of a difference that would be. Because then you could do, like, okay, play this upgraded Harbinger, put Snoop, and then Kiki underneath it, and then, like, go off in your own upkeep. Just make Muxus Modern Legal. I don't know how you would get Muxus into play that consistently... In modern, without lackeys, yeah, modern uh, Muxus is from Jumpstart, so you don't get Muxus. I don't know. I mean, realistically, I'm not going to be playing that much more modern. Like, on a, I mean, the games have actually been pretty good, aside from getting like completely stomped. Like the games, like if the games are competitive, the games are pretty interesting. We went four one three two today, you know, and like the games were pretty enjoyable, honestly. Like I don't no no, it's not a commander card, it's jumpstart. It's like a supplementary set that was it's the same set as Alasaur Shepherd. Like Alasaur Shepherd is also not modern legal. Um Yeah, so like I'm interested in this. What about the unspeakable goblins deck that no one talks about? Hit me. What you got? Goblin Sly? Uh, what, you want Mog Flunkies? Like... So is he the Punisher? Alright. 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 Here's an idea that I had worked on with Calum Smith a little bit and then dropped the idea being that you lose, I mean, I had zero vials, but the idea is like, if you just go full accelerants and like fast accelerants, accelerants that'll need to stick for multiple turns. And then like a bunch of haste lords and also Snoop because you have way fewer lands and like a cheaper mana curve and more mana. You can like churn through your entire deck like pretty fast. Um, and now Marcelo has been like putting up good results with something very close to this in the leagues. Just really interesting to me because it's like a very different approach. Very, very different approach. Uh, <clears throat> and like Cranko was like really fucked up if you have a bunch of snoops in your deck <laughs> and you can just like if you have natural Cranko on top you just get a two mana Cranko twice because you can do it once on your turn and then once on your upkeep you know after you, after you untap oh it's didn't work for you more so it's, cast turn three Muxus after missing two land drops you cast a turn three uh, how did that work you go like is it like hierarchs into narcomancers into like a four mana muxus is that is like turn wait turn three i mean oh i mean it could just be like skirk war marshal hierarch narco war marshal prospector Gee, wait that hierarch narco into war marshal Oh, and that just leaves you with five man on the table. Oh, wow. <laughs> Dude, that's sick. <laughs> that's sick. Have you missed having more than only one Muxus? That's like the weirdest part of this, 
like I feel like we would want two or three in this style of deck. But if it's too like wonky on the curve, I could see not. Not really. Okay. It's just like I don't know. It's hard to turn down that level of power level. You put second removed first. Interesting. Okay. I think this style of deck is something you can experiment with now, <clears throat> whereas you couldn't before. Because Prismatic Ending has taken all of the Wrath slots in the control decks. They're playing like one Terminus. Um, and there aren't really any other control decks. Um, so something that plays to the board this aggressively makes more sense in that context. Blue Red Goblins with Blacky Vile Rag. Um, I tried brewing that w when... Lawrence popped in my stream was asking me about it. It just like it just doesn't work. I, I just think it, it just structurally doesn't work. Um let's see where uh, Blackie into standstill would be extremely funny here, Days Gabos. Oh no, that's an older version. That's just miracles. Oh, this is this. <laughs> How about this? <laughs> Never actually tried it. <laughs> and you can um you can doomsday and then <laughs> and then flip you can flip your bottom card into play you could like doomsday and then do some like and then you can set up a grenzo snoop Harbinger kill out of the bottom of your library. <laughs> so, so Grenzo, put the bottom card of your library into your graveyard. If it's a creature card of power less or equal to, put it onto the battlefield. There's probably no reason. I mean, I don't know. This deck maybe just wants some number of dark controls or like more lotus petals. No one will see it coming. You're right. But we'd probably lose like most game ones because we just kind of have a bad goblins deck. <laughs> but it would be really funny to win post board games. <laughs> Manamorphos. <laughs> Manamorphos. Like you got like Skirk Prospector, another goblin, and then on your turn three you've got like five mana, and then you just metamorphose, metamorphose, doomsday. <laughs> <laughs> this this would be a really fun meme deck, but our doomsday is expensive. Uh, I wanted go pots. Hmm. I don't. I don't think I'm willing to spend ten, like, forty tickets on this meme. Fossil's Oracle. Okay, that that part isn't. What about Manamorphos? Eh. Just to kill people you need to the Grenzo D Day for Priest of Urbrask, Kiki, Mad Auntie, Conscripts. She dude. Alright, alright. That's pretty sick. 
God, I have so many fucking goblins lists. Oh, this is this horrible Mox Diamond idea that I never finished. You you have the why do you own the cards for Doomsday Jr. Hmm. Oh, you rental. Okay, okay. I'm sure I could also just like Pastor Max. Like he's playing Jess guy. He's not playing Doomsday right now. I don't know. This this is like such a hilarious idea to me, but I think it'd be I'm sure it's like really bad. <laughs> oh, don't 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 say that, Jordan. Don't say that. Um uh, all right. I think I'm gonna call it. I'm gonna go eat dinner. Modern was surprisingly cool. Yeah, we do need some dark rituals along with our metamorphoses. All right. Who's streaming? I'll raid Francisco. All right. Thanks everyone for watching. Nope, not that. Uh, this one. I am an Age of Empires fan. Uh, difficult to spell username. All right. Catch you all next time.